Okay, so our film is called Overcapacity, and the synopsis is after the population of the world reaches 20 billion, the officials kind of try to come up with a way to solve how they can sort out that problem, and their solution is releasing an infection to wipe out women. Um, so Samantha Wickham, who is our like, protagonist, she's the last survive surviving female of the Great Gender War, or so she thinks. After hacking into security cameras, she finds out that there are other women who possibly have the cure to the disease. And basically, she gets injected with it on the way to trying to find them. And the kind of narrative is she's trying to escape and get the cure before time runs out. A unique selling point is that we have a female protagonist and also the kind of dystopia <coughs> genre. Though, and the postmodern techniques because we are going to have flashbacks to how the war started. Uh, okay, so three act structure the world's normal, disequilibrium, population reaches 20 billion, gender war, and then the new equilibrium is that all women escape and they live on a mysterious island. Happy. Okay, um, this is for the trailer. Um, so it's pretty much what we just said, but we're not really going to have much of our equilibrium at the beginning. We're kind of going to have some like flashback kind of things to like propaganda they used um, during the war. Um, yeah, then our disequilibrium when yeah she goes and tries to find survivors and stuff like that, and then she's injected. And, yeah, um, but we won't show any of the new equilibrium. Uh, so these are some locations we thought about using. Um, the first one on the top left, that's just behind London Road, and the one next to that's actually on London Road. Um, and then we've got down the seafront, uh, which we thought we'd like to film in underneath there, would be cool. And also the last one is, it's, kind of, it's like by the station, to really get many people um, walking through that bit, it's just by some flats. And um, we thought it would be really cool to like, stick some posters on like, the pillows that you can see. Um, for our costume, we're just going to have um, like, her dress as a tomboy, so in, like, a hoodie, jeans. Um, that way it shows it how she was disguised during the gender war. Um, the picture in the middle um, is who we based our main character around. Uh, it's the main character from a film called Stick It. And she's dressed like that throughout the beginning of the film. Um, we're going to have some of our props will be um, a syringe, which is how the um, females are injected. Um, we're probably going to include that in the trailer as well. Um, Colour contacts um, as one of the side effects of the infection. Um, that's going to be our ending shot of our trailer. So we'll have a close-up of her eyes normal, then she'll blink and they'll be coloured. Um, using the PVA glue, because if it dries on your skin you can peel it off and it looks really gross. So we're going to use that. Um, and we've got ma like makeup and paint for like, obviously you need to put on your face and we do cuts and things. Um, and we could uh, mix paint in with PVA glue to make it look like a strange colour. So see if the infection changes your skin colour. So that's the title and the tagline is the infection is coming. <coughs> the rating would be 15 just because it's quite an intense idea and can be quite scary to younger viewers. So, are you in the film? Do you kill all the women and just like quarantine them until the population gets a bit better? No, the infection like kills them off. So, kills them. Right. yeah. So when we start, like the film starts, <laughs> they're kind of just like gone already. So. Oh right, okay, okay. And it's about this one where it's kind of like. She's like the survivor. Okay.
Um, I was wondering, my question is, um, film studio that you're going to be thinking of, independent Hollywood? Independent? Yeah. Because the focus for it more was on her journey, not so much the effects and like, I mean, like the, because it's, it's post as opposed to like when war happens, so yeah. we can kind of go in lines that wants as well, but they focus more on the character's experience. Okay. Um, I guess this is either a question or an even better art if. Um, you've mentioned a few locations, but you haven't really explained how they're going to use them within the, within the trailer or... So for the, um, the pillars that we have by the train station, because the kind of greenery is quite overgrown, it kind of looks very dystopian, and also we like the concept of putting kind of wanted posters for women on the walls and fading them, so it looks like these. this was a building, because they're pillars, so it looks like the roof had come down, and this is like... Yeah, it's that derelict idea. Yeah. Um, there's like an alleyway along the road that we probably like, like, because she's going to need to like, hide out and stuff, and that's the same for the, like, on the seafront. Um, yeah. And sort of like the action scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the only the women that kill yes. Just the women. <laughs> <laughs> so why would it be a derelict place when the men are still going to the ground? Yeah, but she's hiding, so she's not going to like, she's hiding oh, stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, what inspires you like, to make this film? Like, what other existing films and stuff? Children of Men. It's quite yeah. <laughs> Did you think of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that and a little bit, again, with the whole idea of disease, that I'm just that does have that in. Um, but mainly Children of Men. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, any other questions? Yeah. Um, I think like about their concept and think that they've done particularly well. I've said that you really <coughs> clearly explain the synopsis and it's really appropriate to the genre and you did have some references to films that have influenced you. What else did you like that we think is working well? I really like how you really cleverly like planned out how you're going to make the infection it really realistic like without having to like spend loads and loads of money like with like props you can find really easily. That was really cool. Anything else that you think is going to be quite successful for them. I like the location you guys found, the last one. That was a really cool idea. And so they can start out the way. Okay. Well done, guys. Thank you.